Where are they, Keza? There, there. Whoa, they're right there. Oh. They're literally right next to the boat, huh? Wow. Oh, you can hear them all the way outside of the water. Yeah. Dolphins! Every day we get dolphins right next to the boat. That's cool. It's like around noon every day they just come into this anchorage like and just cruise around. Look at them! They're like swimming under the boat. You can even hear it from here. Wow. That's so amazing. So amazing. Previously on Delos, we have an incredible two-day sail to Fernando de Noronha and do our first dive. It's a pretty exciting day today. We have an adventure coming up. Brady and Ragnar organized one of these crazy little buggy cars. So we're gonna try to pile in all of us. No problem. One and go for a little explore on the island. How no much problem. was it for the buggy? Uh, it was 280 per day. Which one is it? This one. Oh, da -da. fiber. <laughs> cool. Nice today, one. Brian is our driver. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah, I love driving things. <laughs> first gear, second gear, first gear. Brakey, gassy, and clutchy. That's it. Woo, woo. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Which side of the road do we drive on? Uh, right. The right. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we've got our cartoon map. Yeah, so we've driven from here, the harbor, up here, and then we took this way. And now we're here somewhere. See? And my suggestion is that we take this road. You mean the only road? The only road to here. We go this way. Mm -hmm. And then we go all the way out here. Sounds good? Sounds good. That's nice. Our first stop was Playa do Sancho, a secluded half-moon strip of sand backed by a steep cliff that is covered in lush rainforest. We didn't know, but apparently it's only reachable by boat or to make the claustrophobic 230-foot descent via two ladders that cut straight to the cliff. It's a pretty interesting way to get down to the beach, isn't it? Yeah, I'm wondering how long this has been here for or uh, kind of came up with this. Yeah, out of all places to build a little ladder. It's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. It's tight squeeze, Blue. It's tight squeeze. Oh, it's like you're lowering down into a cave. That's pretty cool. There's people waiting to get up, too. It's the only way up and down. Well, that's pretty cool. A little bit of interesting experience to get to the beach. Yeah. We're not there yet. A bit of a hill climb. Wow. Look at his beach. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the 
beautiful place, huh? Yeah, yeah. Recording, recording, recording. Oh shit! <laughs> Whoa! That one pushed me to the bottom. <laughs> swim, Kelsa, swim! I bet my, my leg cut the back of my head. <laughs> What's on the menu for lunch today, Alexandra? Uh, well, I sliced up some ham and salami. Angel. Some cheese and some buns with mayonnaise. Chippies. And, and jalapenos. Ooh, gelato. After a full beach day, we found live music and a perfect spot to watch the sunset. Ragnar, get up there, take a, be a normal person and take a selfie in the sunset. A lot of selfies going on. Let's see it. Fix your hair first, you're doing it all wrong. Comb your, there, there you go. Follow your instinct. Yeah, I'll do it. You got it? Yeah, yeah, you ready? Oh, that's, that's, it. that's a good prune face. Look at it. Wow. Incredible. That is good. Well done. <laughs> we're closing the tab and we're going to move on to the reggae party. There's supposed to be every Wednesday and Thursday there's a reggae party on the beach somewhere. So we're gonna go find that. Vamos curtir reggae music in Brazil, Fernando de Noronha. Woo! Turtles, huge lobster, huge, <laughs> huge lobster, dolphins, dolphins, stingray. Yeah, it's been really good here. Okay, I think it's time to go to the airport. Mm -hmm. Favorite part of the trip? Oh, I love the uh, ongoing tempo all through the trip. But uh, okay, you just take uh, every day as it comes. No real plans. That's the favorite part of the trip. Nice. We say it's sad to go, but it's gonna be good to come home as well. Okay. No more kisses right now. No. No. Uh. -uh. <laughs> awesome meeting you, bro. Yeah. Oh, the boat's gonna be so empty. Yeah. And then there was four. It's like all our children are leaving. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's really good to hang out in Rome. It's absolutely awesome. Everything. Thanks for coming. It's been an awesome trip. Awesome. Yeah. I can't wait to see you in Sweden. Really good trip. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Bye guys. What a good trip, huh? So good. It's always sad to say bye. Yeah. It's time. Because yeah. we're going to sail on. And... Yeah. That was a good visit. Yeah. Crazy how fast a month can go. So crazy. I don't know, it's just the fact of having like your family out and having the people kind of that means so much in your life to be part of what we do is amazing because we don't get to see them that often, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Very so. sad to say goodbye though. Uh, but now uh, it's time for us to leave. Yeah. We're gonna go diving? Yeah, we're gonna go diving and then we're leaving. Yep. We've been doing so much cool land exploring here around the inside of the park and one of the main things about Noronia that we really were excited to do when we got here was dive. And we've done a few dives on our own, but there's that area that covers most of the shore that's in the park and you're not allowed to go unless you go with a registered dive company. And we've been talking to people and they've, everyone has suggested Atlantis divers here. So we're gonna go in now and talk to them about where we're gonna go and I don't know, just kind of sort out the trips for the weekend. Any questions? Let's do it. Okay. I was with Marcelo and he Yo. was just explain <laughs> Yo, what's up? <laughs> explaining the, the sites that they go to. They do all, all these a lot, and if the swell picks up on this side, they come around to this side. And two, and our best friends take. Probably. Depends on how we like the diving. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and so we're going to stay forever. <laughs> it's another incredible morning, and we're up super early um, to go for some, do some more diving. But look at the sunrise, awesome. Wow. But today, I think we're gonna go up to the north end of the island, which is sort of that way, into the national park, which should be uh, really, really cool. So we've heard a lot of good things about diving here. Senor, yeah. it's time to go diving. Yes. Vamos. Venga, vamos. Most of the time, underwater, we shoot with the Naughty Cam GH4 housing with the Panasonic GH4 in it. This housing is sweet because it has a vacuum inside. Now it turns green, so now it's completely airlocked inside and all the moisture has been sucked out, so you're not going to have any fog on the lenses and you know that there's no problems with the seal. You can also attach lights on the top. Uh, swimming, just be careful with the rocks, not hurt your 
yourself. Okay? If it's come and go, when it comes, stop swing. And when it goes, go with it. Okay? Uh, let's try to do this uh, all, all, uh, all around this uh, the rock. If you cannot, uh, with the first uh, just uh, to 16, 17, we have to swim out of this rock before uh, we go up. Okay. okay. Don't forget the same stop, five minutes, three minutes. Yeah. This area has been a protected marine park for over 30 years. We began the dive by doing some pretty epic swim throughs. It's such a unique feeling, pushing you to be completely in the now, controlling your buoyancy with every breath, rising up as you take a breath in and sinking as you breathe out. I love Alex's reaction trying to express this feeling without using words. We spotted quite a few of these big schools of black margate, hovering under the protection of the big shelves. In non-protected areas, they are common targets for spearfishing. Getting close, you can see how they sometimes get their nickname Sweet Lips from their abnormally large rubbery lips. We were able to get pretty close to this big southern stingray. They spend most of the time laying camouflaged in the sand like this. Looking even more impressive while swimming, searching the bottom for small prey buried in the sand. They find worms, small fish and crustaceans using echo reception and their excellent sense of smell and touch. And all of a sudden, this beautiful nurse shark swam straight towards us. He seemed to have an itch as he kept rubbing himself on the bottom. They can get quite large, with a length up to 4.5 meters, living up to 35 years old. They prowl the reef for sea snails, crustaceans and other small fish. Under some of the shells, we found these spiny lobsters. They can live up to 20 years and are some of the most alien looking creatures down here. They undergo an incredible transformation throughout their life, starting off as a free swimming microscopic larvae. After about a year, the larvae settles in seagrass beds or in mangrove roots. After undergoing several molds to make room for their larger bodies, they migrate to the coral reef and live in holes and crevices just like this. Then we saw this. This coral is spawning. I've never seen this before. Since the coral cannot really move around the ocean floor, some coral reproduce by sending out tiny eggs and sperm, called gametes, into the ocean. It looks like thick smoke, and the coral eggs and sperm join together into a baby coral, called planula, that will hopefully find a place on the ocean floor to grow into a new coral colony. Filming underwater is just so different, paying attention to current, your buoyancy, depth, and most of the time the fish is not all that keen to be on camera. A lot of the time I think the fish can sense when you're focusing on them, and they bolt out of the frame before you know it. 
To put together this diving sequence, I've gone through about 300 clips from four different cameras. Our last dive in Aronia was a drift dive between two islands. During our safety stop, we started to hear dolphin sounds in the distance. Seeing dolphins while diving is pretty rare and something I've never experienced before. So seeing them swimming out of the blue was incredible. We pretty much all lost it. has been a fantastic stay in Neronia and uh, we just had a hell of a time did some partying did some epic dives the last few days but now it's time to move on we've just got a few more things to do I've got to go pay our fees check out Bonjour. okay well that's it we are officially cleared out of Brazil we're gonna see if we can grab a few veggies some fruit and veggies. Yay! And um, got to clean the bottom of the boat. Okay, here we go. As a, this is our last sunset of Brazil. It is time to go, time to set sail. I think everybody feels sort of ready. Uh, it's sad because we met so many incredible people here and we had no idea at all what to expect of Brazil. Like if we were going to have to leave after one or two weeks because we didn't feel it was safe. But uh, I don't know, we just sort of fell in love with the place and the people and the caparinhas and the food and everything else that is Moito Brazil. And uh, We've decided to spend one more night on the anchor, just chilling, relaxing. Alex is cooking a little bit of dinner. And then we'll wake up tomorrow, put the dinghy on deck, and set sail for somewhere. We're not even quite sure yet, but we're just gonna start sailing that general direction and sort of see where the wind takes us. Anyway, this is our evening. Enjoy. On top of all the crazy and amazing Brazilians we've met over the past six months, we want to give an extra special shout out to our friends that helped us translate their beautiful language into English from a total of 23 episodes in Brazil. We're sorry for butchering your language at times, but muito obrigado, amigos. Ciao, Brasil. Nos vamos voltar. Up next, we pick up the hook and say goodbye to our amazing Brazil. That's it! We're no longer touching Brazil. Try and dive a remote reef and have an equator crossing ceremony for blue. You must swim from the bow of Delos to the ladder, up onto the deck, and you must do it naked. Okay, go! <laughs> the wrong throat. I like it. I like it a lot. Big? No. 
Let's see. Yeah, dude, you got massive thighs. That is quite strong. Pour <laughs> <laughs> some on my leg and my inner thigh burns. <laughs> strong. Are you peeing right now? No. Yeah, you are. Don't lie. I'm not peeing. Venga. Get out of here. You sure you can't see my fat rolls? Yeah, let me zoom in a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. 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 Oh,